Alright, lads. I'd like you all to meet our newest member, Ralph. Hey, guys! With all due respect, Jake, what makes you think this guy is worthy to be a part of our group? He calls a crash with Warsdale and Lizzie. Tell them the story, Ralph. Basically, we held them back at the hill between the eastern and western branches. Then we pushed them down the hill. Well, I'm not sure about you guys, but anyone who crashes those two grunts is a friend of mine. Agreed. Who even likes Worsdale and Lizzie anyway? They're both annoying. I don't get why that excuse of a greedy controller even bought them in the first place. Surprised you didn't get rid of them. Who cares? I'll always be better than them anyway. <laughs> I'm sure you're better than them. Do you want to play pranks? Alright. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. What aren't you sure about? It's worse than Lizzie ever coming back from the work. Alright, let's go! <sighs> Why is Kerr taking forever to shut my train? Does he not know there's timetables we have to keep up with? Fast, you complain about Kerr going for repairs and being overworked. Now Kerr being late? Are there any other complaints about the care you're going to have? Well, Scott, it's not my fault that Kerr can be such a dumb engine and- Finally! Here's your train, Gideon. You know, if it wasn't for your red paint, I'd mistaken you for Warsdale with your grumpiness. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to go now. Also, Gideon, I am not dumb! <sighs> How mature. Hey guys, Gideon's cross. Let's try and make him cross still. I like your thinking, Ralph. No, no, we don't want a red lobster fooling us. Go pipe down and come on. We don't want to. Thanks now, lads! Last to want to run a hot box is a broken truck. Get up! Get up! Hey, Barry, you smell that? Ah, I do. Ah, we've run a hot box. Alright, it's sorted. I'm going to Winton whether you like it or not. There's nothing you can do to stop me. The goats for trouble, old boy, will increase speed before they can cause more trouble. That's what you think. Watch this, lads! What on earth? Oof. Well, that was unnecessary. Anyway, where did you trucks come from? My train! Don't worry, I got it! I was wondering why the train was light as a feather. I can help you if you want, Gideon. No, I got it. Thank you, though. No worries. Derail him! Bash him! Bump him! Throw him off the rails! You rascals won't rattle me on my watch. What the? 
Oi, don't go so fast. Come on, Gideon. <sighs> it's so tiring, but I must keep going. I must. Thank you, Brandon. <sighs> Come on. Try harder, you morons! What do you think we're doing? I've done it! I've done it! Yes! Ah, uh, Gideon 1, Trucks 0. Well done, Gideon. Just in time. I'm very proud of you. You did a great job from what I have observed. Your determination and hard work really showed how you're capable of handling those trucks. Thank you, Fensworth. I hope Mr. Turner hears about this. <laughs> I guess you could say your wish is granted, as I have a certain somebody in my cab who would like to speak to you. Sir? Gideon? That was the most amazing thing I have ever seen on my railway. I'm really impressed on how you taught the trucks a lesson or two. Oh, thank you, sir. It's no problem at all. Although, let's not pressure ourselves in the future. Don't worry. I could never go so fast to teach the trucks manners all the time, sir. I'm sure you wouldn't. After that, you deserve to keep your title as a reliable, responsible, and really useful engine. Thank you, sir. Why is Kurt taking forever to shunt my train? It doesn't know... No. I was wondering why this train was light as a f... <laughs>